the mic is actually picking up the air conditioner. Uh, back mic, front mic. This is kind of, it's, it's, it's an interesting setup. Hello, America. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky. This, this thing, I've actually got this, it's a it, fan, fantastic setup because this is made for like interviewing, like this whole, this, this duo thing is made for interviewing. So there's a mic here and a mic here on me. And so it's made so that the person holding the phone can interview somebody else. So I can say, huh? How are you doing? And then we both have mics. And, uh, but I have it turned off on the camera, so that way it gets just kind of more even. Um, more even stuff. Make sure I got you. Um, Joseph, what do you want me to talk about? You got it done? No. So it means you didn't do your homework. <laughs> you were just gonna wait for the professor to do it? I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe I want to chill. Like here, like I'll just, I'll just have a seat, and I'll just let you, let you, you know? Because how do you know when you've learned something? Just one of the two. What? Well, this is why you have a hard time doing your homework because you don't even know what your notes say, right? Oh, holy schmoly! Like, yeah, holy schmoly! I know it's contribution margin. Something. Contribution margin something. CMU stands for what, Landon? You got a hot text? I don't even know. Huh? I don't even know. You don't even know. What'd you do it? I didn't do it. I was working on my next one. Well, that's not going to help you right now. But it's going to help I mean, you in five minutes. It's not going to help you on the test, is it? It's going to help me on my test in the next one. Because I'm going to give you a hard time. Uh, well, I, I, I ain't never on this period. <laughs> I'm observant, man. You don't need that open. I want you. I, I don't really give a damn about that class, actually. I want you to do it in my class. That's fair, Bruce. And I don't know what CMU is, so I can't be doing too good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Brian, so let's, you pay attention. Brian, what's CMU stand for? Contribution margin per unit. Contribution margin per unit. So, be writing this down. What page should we be taking notes on? What? We're going to give you those numbers. Uh, page 122. You have the number? 121? Yeah. Kind of page 121. Well, I gave you some extra numbers though, right? These are the numbers that you gave for like the problems. Did, did, did I? I think so, yeah. Because I'm right well, we, I, we made up some numbers though, didn't we? Yeah, these are the numbers. Are those the numbers you made up? No. No. Uh, those numbers. He's got them on page 125. You got numbers on page 125? Page 125, page 125. 
That's what we're going to do first. Page 125, I gave you some numbers, and I see a whole bunch of empty sheets of paper where those stuff where you were supposed to go home and figure out how to do that. You got her? So you're ready to teach. I can do you. What are the numbers? Let's get those out first. Uh, I was just talking to Ryan. Blaine, do you, is Blaine, Blaine do, you have the, do you have the numbers? Uh, do not have you do not have the numbers. Caden, numbers? Caden might not be here. No, Ian, you got numbers? Yeah, the ones that I just wrote down at the end of class. Uh, for the units of I, just, I just gave you a set of numbers. Dollars and stuff. Okay. Right? Yeah. You got them? Where you got them? Man, I need to wake you all up. Plus, my lungs just feel stronger. I'm a little bigger than I was a My wife says I'm louder. You got the numbers? Yeah. That's not the numbers. I just want the list. Sarai won't have the numbers. Peyton, do you have the numbers? Peyton's off. Peyton's off my head. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I got my contacts in today. <laughs> Grace, do you have the numbers? Is it the one million? Yeah, what is the one million? Uh, the, um, fixed cost. Fixed cost equals one million dollars? Yeah. And everybody, everybody, notice I got a dollar sign at the front of that number. You know what that means? Them's dollars. Them's dollars. Okay. What's another number, Grace? Uh, the um, desired is eighty thousand. Desired what? What do we desire? Uh, operating income. Desired operating income is eighty thousand pesos. Uh, dollars. Dollars. Okay, awesome. What's another number, Grace, since, since you got them? Like half the people in the room either don't have them or don't know where they put them in their handbook. Um, the SPU is 500. SPU is 500 pesos? Dollars. Okay. What's SPU stand for, Connor? You should know this one. You might know this one. should know this one. SPU? No. You don't? No. Ellen, what's SPU stand for? No. L. Selling price per unit. Yeah, I could have taken a stab at it. Yeah, that's, I think you would have got it. Uh, Grace, another number. Uh, the variable units cost. Oh, and you should have VCU written down, don't you? I th I just couldn't read what I had here. Why don't you fix it now? Since I've now given it to you on the board, VCU and VCU is how much? Uh, $200. $200. And what does VC? You stand for uh, Skyla's not here. Gatlin. Is Gatlin here? Gatlin, Paris. Maybe not. Nope. Jackson, what's VCU stand for? That's a good question. Thank you. I'm a professor. I think that's kind of what I'm paid to do is ask good questions. You know, you just need more professors asking more good questions, I think. Don't you think? Uh, I totally agree. Thank you. I mean, you don't have to agree with your one thing. VCU. Kenzie, what's VCU stand for? Variable cost per unit. Variable cost per unit. You have a right to use it. You should go to sleep and then you forget. When we all go to sleep, I hope you all are getting lots of good sleep. Very important. Very important. Lots of good sleep. You need to work on that then, sir. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Any other numbers I need to know about, Grace? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? Or I have to have Blake, what do you think? Is this all the numbers? Uh, yes. Yes. Danny, what's the other formula? We got break even in units up here. We need another one, right? Break even. 
Dollars. What's the formula? <laughs> okay. That by contribution margin ratio. And that is dollars of what, Nate? Huh? <laughs> dollars of revenue is the answer. Dollars of revenue is the answer. So this could also be labeled break even in revenue. Okay? So why don't we, actually, why don't we do two things on this page? Uh, since, we're, since we're here looking at these numbers, uh, let's calculate break even first, right? Don't you think we should? Just, just trying to get your attention because you were staring off at something. Corey, let's calculate break even in units. Help me. But I changed the question. I was a little honored. A little honored. Because I asked, because what did I ask? To calculate what? Yes. And let's remind that. Now, those of you who weren't here, you didn't get to do this last class period. So I want you to feel kind of like you're kind of part of the part of the class. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna ask a question and I want all of you to respond. And I want to especially hear the people that weren't here a lot of class period. Well, actually, the, we need to teach. Actually, I guess the first time around, we got to teach everybody what those people, what they need to answer, don't they? Because they weren't here. So I'm going to ask you all a question, and you all say the answer together. Can you remember this? Everybody remember this? Say, you remember this? If I go, class, that break even operating income is. I mean, I'm standing right here. I'm not sure it hurt me. Come now, now, is everybody get that? Now, do you, those of you who weren't here last class period, do you not know what to say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, except y'all need to be louder. Like, the, the challenge was they're supposed to be louder than me. Uh, you all are supposed to be louder than me. I don't think that's going to happen. What? There's 30 of you. I'm not a loud person. There's only one of me. I thought you meant particularly us. As a group, 30. Yeah, all 30 of you together should be louder than me, don't you think? I think, he, I think this, should, this can happen. Okay, so let me do it again. You ready? Collab! At break, he's been operating in your mid. Zero. That was a little bit better. That's, yeah, I've heard you just say things in class last week. That one's collab! At break, he's been operating in your mid. Zero. Army officer trained people to be. Not, I can't hear them. Collab! That break even operating income is zero. Oh, that's like the first halfway decent one in like nine attempts across two class periods. Let's see if we can just do one, you know, like one little, you know, inch better than that, okay? Didn't that feel good? Didn't that feel good? You missed this last class period. Don't you wish you were here? Collapse at break even operating income is zero. Dude, didn't that feel good? Uh, stretch the lungs a little bit. Uh, but I want you to remember that. What do I want? Because the point being, I asked to calculate break even. And what did you do wrong? Pardon? And what did you do wrong in the answer? What did you do? Yes, you didn't give me zero. So at break even, that's zero. And what goes on the bottom? And why did you do five hundred dollars minus two hundred dollars? Yeah, selling price per unit 
minus variable cost per unit equals contribution margin for you. There we go. Math plays. Drum roll plays. Math. Hermes, what do you got for me? Math, please. Math? That's, uh, please? <laughs> Math? What? Math? Please? Yeah, it's... Um, so we have a, a desired operating income. Yes, we do. But, but I... Did you, did you... Were you not listening when I was visiting with Corey over there, though? Because what did I ask Corey to calculate? Collapse at break even operating income is zero. Is that helpful? Thank you. <laughs> I almost forgot that. <laughs> exactly. And so I don't want you to forget that. So break even operating. So I basically so basically what I do, what I'm doing in class is I'm doing we'll do it the way you did it also. But this is kind of helping you hopefully remember, right? Helping you remember that. At break even operating income is nothing. So when I ask for break even on a test, I'm asking for no profit. Okay. Yeah. So back to Hermes. Please do the math that's on the board. Yeah, so that would be 3,333. Uh, and what's the label here? That's units. Okay. And that's units to do what, Herb? To break even. Correct. If you sell that amount of units, you're gonna break even. Correct. And yeah, presumably since you can't sell a third, a third of a unit, unit, you're probably gonna sell 3,334 units in order, in order to break even. Very good, okay? We all got it? Beautiful. Kim's not here. Say, help me with the other one, man. You got this. Okay, you're gonna have to talk up just a little bit because there's a loud fan. A million dollars. A million dollars. Plus zero because we're breaking even. But what goes on the bottom? $300 divided by $500. Very good. And recognize there's kind of an implied parentheses there. So you want to do that first before you do the rest, the rest of the math. Olivia, why $300 over $500? $300 over $500. And what, how do you calculate the contribution margin ratio? Market per unit divided by selling price per unit. So math, please, sailor. Three divided by is three divided by five point six. Then yes. Thank you. Give him a little nudge. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. We made up these numbers last class period. I don't have the answers. One million six hundred thousand sixty-six. One million. Say, say again. What is that? Stella. You know? Carson, what is that? 
guess. I don't want to guess. I'm going to guess I'm telling you. Is that the revenue? Revenue to do what? To break even. Yeah, it is the revenue to break even. That's why I have a dollar sign in front of me. Yeah. Revenue to break even. Dollar sign. I just give a couple. I mean this, right? So now what do we got to do? Was this what I asked you to do at night? Sir, you were smiling, which means you weren't thinking about accounting. <laughs> He's watching a video. What are you watching here? What you, what you, what's going down over here? Yeah, he just, but he looks. He look, you know, he's, he's looking at his phone, and then there's a big smile, and then he sets it down. You know, it's like, no, it wasn't accounting. Now, Corey, what did I ask you? <laughs> and so what would we do different? Plug in the 80,000 to the zero. Why don't we do that? August. Math, please. You got to get here early enough here. You got to get here early enough to get your normal seat, man. What? Like that one on the left. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. What are you telling me? It is the one from yesterday. No. Is it $1,800,000? What? No! No, it's not dollars. What's the formula? Break even in? Are you going to dollars? So is this? Units. Do I got y'all flummoxed? Yeah. 3,600 units. Is that correct? <clears throat> Veronica, is that what you got? Yes. So that is not units, or this is this must be units, right? This must be units here, okay? So what's this math then, please? Uh, max, now you can use your phone constructively instead of just using it to watch videos or whatever, whatever, whatever it was that was going down over there. What do you got for this? Can you read it? I mean, there's there's space up closer. I appreciate Brandon moving up because he did couldn't see the board. I don't appreciate it too, but I ain't my name. Did I say right? I didn't say right. That's why everybody's laughing. I can't tell you now. Well, I know who you is. You're a Ah, see, I got all but the first letter right. Playing. Yeah, I mean, you missed all, too. R-A in No, but I got all the, the last five letters right now. I ain't even tripping. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did I miss it? 
I'm sorry. I don't think it's funny. I think it's serious. Connor, what do you got for us? You can't trust these people. Fifty-four hundred. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, right in the top one. This one right here. So one million eighty thousand uh, divided by point six. Thirty-six hundred. No, can't be. That's that. Oh no, I got eleven million eight hundred thousand. Eleven million eight hundred thousand. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Do we all not know how to use our calculator? I think you yeah, just added an extra one. It's just, it's a million. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think it's a million. Yeah, I, I know why. Yeah. Do you all know how to use your calculators? Yeah. I do. One million eight hundred thousand dollars. How are we feeling? Yes. Is that, we like this? Yeah, that was great. That felt like a lot more work than it should have been. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I don't know about you all, I'm tired. <clears throat> so I want you all to go to Stone Monument Company A. Stone Monument Company A. On your mark, get set, go. And it is not a test, so you can feel welcome to talk to one another. Welcome back! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Stone Monument Company A. Stone Monument Company A. That's not a formula. It's just a fraction. It's 
It is. Yeah, my apologies. This is really, I don't know why it's like this, but the formula, the numbers are really, really oddly arranged. Jackson. Write the break even in units formula. 
It's harder harder to write on the board than you think. <laughs> Put yeah units. There you are. You write better than I do, bro. Equals. There needs to be an equal sign there. Okay. He. I mean, we're gonna have him write on the board all the time for us. I think. Look at this. He's doing a great job. Awesome. This looks awesome. Yeah, just do it that way. That works. I. I. Okay. Well, no, okay. Just finish that. One. Oh, okay. Just do the whole thing. Yeah. Just do the whole thing. Right. Just do that. One. <laughs> Do you want me to write out all the? Uh... You write out. Put it, now go equals. Yeah. And then all the numbers. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, you do write on the board very well. Yeah. Um, although, although this <laughs> is six million dollars. Thank you. Put the equals. Do you want to do it? Just go down. Go down. I can put the answer. Huh? Okay. Thank you. A round of applause for Jackson. Look at this. They got enough people are clapping. Honor, Landon, neither one of you clapped. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. This is perfect. Everybody see this break even in units? He wrote out the formula, fixed plus, cost plus operating income equals divide or divided by contribution margin ratio or contribution margin per unit. And this problem asks you to calculate break-even. So how much is operating income at break-even? Zero, right? And so this is the selling price per unit, this is the variable cost per unit, and, and my apologies, I don't know why it's so awkwardly formatted. I'm gonna have to give that a look and see if I could get that fixed for uh, next year. And then you do this math, six million divided by $1,000, and that answer gives you 6,000 units. How's that look? Just do it off to the right and just format it very simple. But you haven't, but we haven't seen you write on the board yet. Yay! Another clap, 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 The question I have for somebody besides Veronica, though, is, There's one thing I don't like about this problem, and that is there's two numbers, two different numbers with the same value, meaning this could be one of two things right here. What is that number? The 1,000? Let's make this super clear. What's that number right there, that top one? The CMU. And how is the CM, how do we determine, how do we determine the CMU? SP minus CMU. Yes. So this number is $2,000 <clears throat> selling price per unit minus $1,000 variable cost 
per unit, okay? So this is the contribution margin per unit divided by the selling price per unit. So the thing I don't like is that there are two 1,000s in this problem, right? There is variable cost per unit is 1,000, but the contribution margin per unit is also 1,000. And those are two different numbers. So make sure you've got all this stuff very well labeled in your notes. So that way you know if you do it again on the next one. CMR stands for contribution margin ratio. And I showed a longer, uh, if you watch the last video on YouTube, it all just talks about that. Because okay. I'm still load, uploading videos my YouTube channel keeps getting bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? So, East meets West Company B. On your mark. So. Yeah, everybody should be doing stone mining. Yeah, I'm going 
Can I construct a problem that makes you do this? Yeah, but we didn't still want you to change that. Yeah. Yeah. But you're exactly right. You're exactly right. So you got all this energy. Yeah. Yeah. So Stone Monument Company B, I am very sorry, Stone Monument Company B.
So clap, clap, clap. Thank you, thank you. This one's the easier one, right? So this is six million. They want to make one million four hundred thousand dollars, and it is called. Some of some some students found it a little bit confusing that it is called in the problem net income, isn't it? It's net income. Net income and operating income are the more often than not are the same thing. I gave you a formula that says. Net in, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between operating income and net income? It is taxes, right? I gave you a formula that tells you how to convert net income to operating income. However, in this problem, they give you no information about taxes, zero, zilch, nothing. And so, in this problem, then we can assume that net income and operating income are the same thing. Okay? Piece of cake, walk in the park, easy spot off lock. I mean, this is refreshing. Your all's handwriting is better than mine. I'm sure you all find it refreshing. Like, heck, I can read it. So much. Thank you, thank you. Clap, 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 clap. Thank you, thank you. And again, this number is two thousand dollars minus one thousand dollars, right? And that's how we got that one thousand dollars. Now you all. I'm just gonna, I said it already once, I've walked around the room saying it several times. It is worth your time to take a few seconds and write out the formulas, even on a test. How long does that take to write all of that, that stuff? Maybe four seconds, let's see, four or five seconds. It takes five seconds to write out the formula. And that might be the difference between you making a stupid mistake and you not making a stupid mistake. And stupid mistakes are to be avoided, especially on exams, right? Especially on exams. There's no reason. Take five more seconds. You've got plenty of time during the exam time, right? Nobody has been here on any of my exams until the end of the class period. So you've got plenty of time. Take a few seconds. Write out the formula, then fill in the formula, then do the work, and that way you're creating an, you know, you're you're just eliminating a lot of potentially silly errors in your math and in your in your process. Questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. Thank you, everybody. Then thank you, everybody. Don't forget everything I taught you. And we'll see you on Thursday. And thank you in particular to those who wrote on the board. Yeah, thank you in particular to all of them.